What is up guys, my name is Will from Ghost Hack and today I'm going to teach you a really cool technique on how to make wavetables in Serum without importing any audio. The wavetable that we will be making in the end will sound like this. All right, so to get started, this way of making wavetables is extremely simple. There is nothing complicated about it at all. It is all about making a, taking a simple waveform and warping it and then uh, turning this warp into the actual wavetable position. Now I'll show you how to do that. To start off, all you really need is just make a simple wave. I could use this saw wave, but I think for the um, tutorial, it would be better if I do something more like a triangle wave. So if I go single, triangle in phase, here we have our triangle. Nothing special. But what we're gonna do with this is first off, I'm gonna drop it down two octaves so it's at sub bass range. And now I will simply turn on the warp mode to remap one. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this all the way up. I have not added anything in this remap function yet, so nothing is going to happen. This remap uh, window is where we can warp the waveform however we want to warp it. So all I'm gonna do for this is just create some kind of geometrical shape, something that's very uh, symmetrical and just kind of just kind of make sense. All right, what you do want to avoid when making this shape is making lines that are perfectly connecting like to each other that are like straight up and down. Like right here, if these are straight up and down, then we're gonna get this sound and you get all this kind of clicky high frequency action, I want to avoid that because it's going to get a lot more high frequency when I you know, do more stuff to it. So this is the shape that I have settled on and you can hear our triangle wave is a lot more like, it's almost growly. It has a lot more harmonics and it's a lot richer in like tone. So we can just exit out of here and now let me show you what happens when we move this remap knob around. We get that motion. That motion right there is what we want, and we want to turn it into the wavetable position because right now we just have the one little triangle wave going on. We want to make this the wavetable position. Simple, simple way to do this. You just go to the menu and you go render oscillator a warp. And now it has taken this remap function and it has applied it to whatever uh, whatever frame that the wavetable position was on at that time. And it deleted everything else if there was anything else to delete, and we came up with this. As you can hear, they're both exactly the same thing. Now this is where the fun begins. Now you could save this wavetable and just use that, but that is still very boring to me. There still is not that much going on here. There's not as much information in this table as I would like. Also, it doesn't look nearly as cool. So all we have to do is just take it a step further. Let's turn this wavetable position all the way up, and now let's hear how the remap sounds. That is much more interesting. There's a lot more stuff going on there. And now all we have to do once again is turn the remap down and select the table that we want uh, to render the warp to. And we want it to render the very last table and make the whole warp the wave table. So let's go ahead and render oscillator A warp. And like I said, it's gonna delete everything else except that table and all of the warping that we can do to that table. So once again, you can hear that it sounds exactly the same. And we have a much, much more interesting table going on here. That's really fun. I think I'm going to save this. Will, can you take it a step further? Yes, I can take it a step further and I will. Once again, let's turn the wavetable position all the way up, hear how the remap sounds. That is intense. Let's work with it. Render the oscillator A warp and look at that. That is beautiful. Look at that shape. We got a lot of frequency action going on there. This is the point at the third stage. This is the third time that this has gone through this whole remap, this whole like shape right here. And normally I stop at the third time because if you listen to it uh, when I try to do it another time, that is kind of cool, but it's, it's a little too much. It's a little too much. I'm just gonna leave it here. Now at this point, you can save this table as well. And if this is still a little too messy for you, all you have to do is go in here and you can go multis, process, squareify, and it becomes really, really clean. Sounds very, very nice. You 
you can make sick basses out of that. You can make sick, really wonky, you know, rhythm dubstep basses. Now I will say one thing, this does not work for all of the functions. It works for most of them, except for these FM, AM, RM ones. What I have to do for this one, if I want to actually render something like this triangle FM, if I want to make that a wavetable, then I have to use resample. Now this part is a little bit trickier, but it's still pretty dang simple. All you have to do is just, uh, let's see, create this shape with LFO one here. And you wanna make sure that it is on the FM from B from zero to a hundred all the way. You also wanna turn it on envelope mode right here. I just set it to a bar and make sure that this level is all the way down. You want no level from here. Cause what we're gonna do is we're gonna go resample to oscillator B and everything that's happening right now is just going to pop into the oscillator B's table. Now you can see when we're scrolling through that we are really, really warping this waveform here. And you can see it in the, uh, in the window, it looks really cool. It's like this FM wave. When we turn this level down and turn this up 75, we can hear what the table sounds like. Let's bump this down a couple octaves as well. We have all the triangle FM that we just went through. And before we save this as a wave table, I think it would be best to clear out all of the very, very high messy junk. And now we have this table right here. It's a super, super clean method of getting like FM style wavetables. So now we can save it. All right, there's the tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned a thing or two. It is really fun to mess around with the remap and just to create really, really awesome wavetables. The links to download the three wavetables that I made today are in the description below. So thank you so much for your support and we will see you in the next video. Happy producing.